Oh my gosh. I'm not sure if this was such a good idea. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Sims 4 Dream House. And I think you guys know what today's episode is going to be. We did unfortunately lose Claire and Ali in the last episode of Dream House. It was very emotional. I'm very sorry if I made you guys upset. I was upset too, and today is probably going to be another upsetting episode. It's the first time I've ever used a funeral mod, so bear with me. It's the first time I've ever had to use it, which is a good thing. But today is going to be the Claire and Ali funeral. I'm not quite sure whether it's going to allow me to do it as a joint funeral, but I want to think of it as a joint funeral. So that is what we're going to be doing in today's episode. I've already gone in and edited everybody's outfits that everybody is wearing black. I know you don't have to wear black at a funeral, but I just think it's a respectful thing to do. So I've changed everybody to wear black clothes. And today we are going to be trying to do the Clara and Ali funeral. If you guys enjoy this episode, despite its sadness, please don't forget to give it a little thumbs up. Please drop me a, li a little comment below to let me know what you think of everything, how everything went. And don't forget to share it if you're enjoying this series. <gasps> I think the first thing I'm gonna actually have to do is place the funeral lot. So this is the funeral um, church graveyard that I'm gonna be trying to place. This was of course made by Brit Pink Sims who did the actual mod itself. Hopefully we're not gonna lose too much stuff because it does have stuff from vampires in there. So we'll have to see how things go. I do wanna get the vampires one just to get the stuff from it. But I'm kind of scared that if I get it, I'm going to have vampires everywhere killing people and dying. Which would not be great. I'm going to put it here so it's kind of surrounded by trees. I think that's a pretty nice way to do it. Okay, and I've just checked over and everything looks okay. So fingers crossed this is going to work. I have no idea how much it's going to work with cats and dogs. And without having all the stuff packs it needs. But guys, cross your fingers, cross everything that we're going to have a really nice service. I can't be like all happy and hyper. It feels really weird. But I just... I don't know, I just, I've been to funerals recently and I don't want to like be disrespectful. Even if they're sims, it's the idea of a funeral. You gotta respect that. So here we are back in the house and as you could probably guess, everybody is mourning. Even Taylor who was asleep. Taylor's mourning, Emily is mourning and oh my gosh. Look at her, she's super sad. She, I don't know if they've all got two, no. These guys have just got one, but um, little Faith also has a friend has passed. They're all gonna be very sad for at least two days. We can still actually see Claire and Ali on their friends list as well. I'm getting like, I'm getting all sad again. This is obviously of course where Claire is. And then downstairs is where Ali is. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. So I'm just gonna like get everybody to get at least a little bit of rest. And then we will go ahead and start to plan the funeral. Oh my gosh, the Grim Reaper is still here. And he's getting a drink from my bar. What on earth? Grim Reaper, please. I'm gonna have a look at his face. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, that's really creepy. Can you please just like leave our house? I don't want you here anymore. You've done what you've needed to do, okay? Now you need to leave our house. Don't you be reaping anybody else. And you can actually hear everyone kind of crying in their sleep. My gosh, you guys, we've never lost Sims before. I know we lost Hajar, but she, we weren't really that close to her. It doesn't really feel the same. Oh, and Taylor's even sadder now because he needs we. Okay, the Grim Reaper has left as you guys. He's finally left us. And even this little sweetie yeah. pie here, I could actually hear crying in her sleep. And now the poor little thing has woken up to her life without her grandparents. Oh my gosh, she wants to go cry in the closet. Oh guys, this is just too sad. It is too, too sad. Little Faith has lost her grandma. I know exactly how that feels because I went through that recently and it is definitely not fun. Although she, uh, she's energized. But she's sad. And Emily is in bed crying as well. This is like a super sad house today, you guys. Everybody's just crying a little hearts out. Oh, she's doing some sit-ups to make herself feel a little bit better. Oh, and even Taylor's got out of bed really sad. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's pretty early, but you tend to have funerals kind of early. So I'm going to go ahead and get Emily to plan the funeral. Oh, she looks so sad to plan it. Okay. So this is going to be a funeral. I've never done one before. Uh, losing some new love is hard. Plan a funeral to mourn them and help celebrate their life. You know what, guys? That is a nicer way to think of it. So the host, I'm guessing, is probably going to be these two guys. The minister. Will it? Who can I get to? I'm going to have to hire some. Oh, my gosh. Imagine the ghost being the minister of the funeral. What on earth? We'll hire someone for this role. Oh, it won't let me. So I'm just going to select this person to be the minister. I don't know who she is, but she's going to be the minister. 
I'm guessing the entertainer is going to be on the piano. I'm just going to hire everybody for the role. I'm not sure if we need them or not, but it's better to be safe, isn't it? And then I'm just going to invite everybody to be the guests. I don't know whether to still do it as a social event, so that anybody that gets missed out will at least get pulled along to it. Now, I did give little um, Noelle a funeral outfit. But I don't know if you should really be bringing toddlers to funerals, so I don't mind too much if she doesn't come. Okay, and then there we go. That's a good sign. I can do it at the funeral church graveyard. So, hopefully they're going to put their formal clothes on and not their party clothes. Because formal is what I've set everything to. If not, I will try and change it. But fingers crossed we're going to see everybody in their, like, nice, nice classy and sophisticated morning black clothes. And I have no idea how this is going to go. Okay, this is looking good. Everybody is wearing black. The minister doesn't quite have the greatest outfit on, but she's just there to be a minister. So that, that's not too much of an issue. But here we go, you guys. I've got everybody. Oh my gosh. Everybody looks so, so sad. Like literally so, so sad. Apart from Connor. Connor looks surprisingly happy. Oh no, no, there we go, guys. He is sad. These are the first people that have shown up. I figured Emily, even though it's a funeral, she, she would still want to be really glam. Oh, and she's given little Faith a hug as if to say, don't worry, we've got this, we've got this. Okay, we've got Salma and uh, Lilith have turned up there as well. I was going to say, where's Claire and Ali? Oh my gosh. Everybody's kind of filtering around. We've got uh, Jessie as well. I figured Jessie would know that pink hair and funerals probably don't go together that well. And also, um, after this funeral, I've put together like um, a bit of a flashback of Claire and Ali's life for you guys to enjoy right from the very first episode. And one of the things that I noticed was that Claire and Jessie were very similar looking when Jessie was younger. And I said that Jessie had pigtails that were brown and um, Claire had one big plot and that when Jessie grew older, she would have one big plot like Claire. So I thought it would be kind of nice for her to, and especially because she was there, for her to kind of have this um, sort of, what's the right word? Tribute, I guess, to her mum by dyeing her hair back to her natural colour and to the hairstyle that Claire used to plait her hair like as well when she was her age. So Dia has shown up as well. Jay, I know he's not technically part of the family, but he has also shown up. Sh sh slowly but surely, I think everybody should be filtering through you guys. Oh, we've got um, Kira as well. And is that... Oh, that's Jay behind. Oh, Max. Max has come too. Everybody's here and everybody genuinely looks really sad. So, I mean, it's nice that, that so many people have come to... That Claire and Ali touched so many people that everybody has come to show respect. And we do have a bar. People are going and just grabbing a little bit of food and drink before the service starts. So, do, oh, I don't know if I set this up as a prestige event or not. I don't know if I did. And I don't actually know if I need to bring the urn along with me. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly do it as again as a prestige event. Because I think it's going to walk me through it a little bit more, okay? Sorry, you guys. Okay, that's better, guys. We actually have some goals now. And then the other thing that I'm just going to do that I can't believe I actually forgot is I've got the urns of both Ali and Claire now. And this is where we're supposed to place them. As we're having a two-person ceremony, I'm actually just going to get one more at the side here. So that we can place both the urns together. Oh, why is it a gravestone? Don't be a gravestone. Become an urn. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then how do I pop them on here? There we go. Okay. So you've got Cl Ali and Claire, both of them there. Oh my gosh, you guys. Here we go, I guess. So we need to get five of our sims to mourn first. But then it's nice because we've got to share happy memories. We've got to view the floral wreath. And we've got to ask the minister for advice. I'm trying to find where the floral wreath is. Okay, here we go. I've placed the two floral wreaths there for both Ali and Claire. And then I'm kind of thinking, although we've got graves out here and we have places to place tombstones, I think I'm going to instead um, create like a memorial garden at the dream, dream house for them instead. Okay, so let's make sure everybody is here again. Oh my gosh, it's so sad seeing everybody this sad. But at least everybody looks really smart and... Everybody looks super, super nice. I guess... Oh, half sims mourn. We did that straight away because everybody was so sad and instantly more than five sims started mourning. We've got Max here. We've got Ryder here. Somehow Charlie Rose has got herself a drink already. We've got little Kira showing up as well. This is great. Okay. Everybody is heading around and everybody's dressed beautifully in black. Okay, we've got Roxy as well. Actually has hidden all of her tattoos. <gasps> she was almost like... Pull yourself together, Roxy. You can do this. Salma looking super smart. She's got all her hair pinned up. 
And we need to actually, you know what? Go ahead and share some happy memories. So, oh my gosh. Guys, come on. Let's let's at least share some happy memories about things as well. I'm going to thank some people for coming with Emily because she's like the host. But we can console some people about deaths. And look, here, oh my gosh. We can share happy memories, which I think is something we should definitely be doing. Oh my gosh. This is like the saddest thing I've ever seen. Literally everybody is just bawling their eyes out, you guys. We've definitely hit that mourn one. Oh my gosh, it's too sad. You guys, you're crying too much. Everybody is just literally crying their eyes out. Oh, we've even got a text from somebody who heard about the passing and wanted to offer their condolences. We've, we're completing some of it because we're viewing the reef and stuff. Oh my gosh. Kira looks so distraught. She actually looks, her eyes look as though she's been crying. And everybody's so sad. Oh, look at poor James. Look at poor James. Like the eldest, the firstborn. Oh my gosh. Gosh. I'm not sure if this was such a good idea. This is almost too sad. Okay, I have the option to give hugs as well. So I kind of at least want people to start giving hugs. Because that's a bit of a nicer thing to do as well. Because everybody is so depressed. Like, literally so depressed. I guess this is the first time they've all been, like, in front of the actual urns. Oh, look at these two sisters chatting away. I've got Emily to go and ask the min minister for advice, because that is one of the things you've got to do. And also, sometimes it's good to speak to somebody about what you're going through. And Emily definitely seems to be going through some emotions. I don't think that helped her very much. Oh, poor little Faith as well. I think her mum's going to give her a little hug to make sure she's okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I think these guys at least are reminiscing about some happy memories about their parents, which is nice. But they're all still so sad. Okay, we're doing a really good job on this. We need to tell some funny stories about Claire and Ali. I think we've got a lot of those. Oh, Emily's trying to brighten the mood with a few, a few happy stories at least. Oh, look at poor little fit. Oh, it's cheering them up, guys. It's cheering everybody up. The happy memories and the happy stories do seem to be cheering everybody up. And these guys are doing cute little hugs and stuff back here too. I can't believe Kira. Like, Kira's so sad. And everybody's just kind of at the bar having a little chat. Max gave little Lilith a hug there. I actually think I just watched Connor run out in, in his running gear. And even James, I think, is on the floor there. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why, but I'm enjoying the fact that everybody is kind of just chit-chatting and reminiscing about Ali and Claire. Okay, so Taylor's probably like, I feel like he's quite a good public speaker and he's not like direct blood relations, so he might be in a better position to give a speech. So he at the moment is giving like a speech about Claire and Ali to everybody. And actually a few people have come to come and watch him as well, which is nice. Emily's kind of watching from the back looking really sad. Max looks like literally absolutely devastated. Look at Ryder as well, looking super sad over there. Oh, actually Ryder's acting up a little bit, you guys. The one thing I have to do to make it gold, I've only got 10 minutes, is ask the Minster for advice. But every time, oh, it's come up as an option. I don't think I'm actually going to get it done in time, but I'll try. It's annoying because I did really want to make it a gold event, but she's just not going to do it in time, I don't think. Look, we've got like three minutes left and she just won't do it. I kept asking them, but they won't do it. The funeral was lovely and the guests felt that the deceased memory was honored. The Simu left has left a family heirloom in your, heirloom in your inventory uh, and their will. Oh my gosh, they've left their will. Check the house of the inventory to see what it was there's also a tombstone and a sympathy card in your inventory oh no she did give her advice but it was a little bit too late the player never gives us more than we can handle maybe it was time for your loved one to move on to a better place and taylor i think you're good i think you can finish your speech now so there's a few more smiles around guys this one's having a little smile Ryder's wrecking so he must be a little bit happy Charlie Rose did look- yeah, Charlie Rose looks like she's got a little bit of a smile on her face as well. And I think as sad as it is, everybody- oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what is he doing? <laughs> what on earth is this guy doing? As sad as it is, everybody's seen- Max's dad has even shown up. It seems like they've at least got some nice memories of Claire and Ali. So I think what we'll do is we'll get everybody to head back and we will plan a beautiful little sort of memory garden. And we could always come back to the church if we ever want to, but I would prefer their memory to be kind of captured at the dream house. So I think we should head back home. <gasps> oh, but just before we do, I need... Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. There's a creepy basement. 
What? How do you even get down there? That's so weird. So I'm gonna add um, these back to the inventory. I'm gonna just go ahead and pop them in this one's inventory so that we can add them back home. Okay, so we are back at the dream house. And I think it's time that we make a nice little garden somewhere here for Ali and Claire. Since it was their goal all along to reach the dream house. And there's this little area of the garden here that I guess they don't go into so much. Although they did get married over there. Maybe it should be where they renewed their vows. If we get big of, rid of this big tree here. And we kind of make a little memory garden for them here. What do you guys think? I think that might be a nice way to do it. Okay, so so far I've placed like a water fountain with some uh, wildflowers around it. A little bench for people that want to come and reflect. And like an archway that I'm going to put the two uh, tombstones under. I just want to make it like a nice place to go and just like remember them. Okay guys, I think we are done. Here is the way it looks. So it's like a little um, memorial garden. Like if I do it like this, you'll see all the trees and stuff behind. So it's got like the cute little uh, like cherry blossoms. I love that it's got like a little water feature. And then you kind of come through like where the little trees are here. These little lanterns and candles will be on in a night. You can see what I need to place yet. Um, I'll do that in a moment, but we've got a little bird bath on this side. So there's always like nature around us. And then there's like a little um, chair and stuff here so people can come and just sit and relax in the garden. This is where we will be placed. We've got candles, we've got loads of wildflowers. And just a little like memorial fountain and then it looks out onto the dream house. I think it's really nice. I do think it's a really nice sort of like little little gesture to them and kind of there we go onto dream house like this. Little gesture in a way that they can always remember them. Um, I'm gonna start the club gathering so that everybody comes around and then I'm gonna go ahead and just pop these in here as well. So they are both the tombstones. I'm gonna go to um, build and buy just so I can Make sure they're in exactly the right position. So that one's Ali, and then Claire will be at the side of him. I'm gonna put us super close together, just like this. And then we need some flowers, you guys. There's something very weird about decorating your own grave. <laughs> I'm not sure this is an experience you're meant to have in life, even if it is just in The Sims. Tell you what, I'm spend I think I've spent 10,000 pounds already, just on all this stuff. Okay, there we go, you guys. I think we're done. I think there's like two quite distinct graves there, which is what I was going for. So you can kind of see that they've got a plant joining them. They've got a lot of like similar stuff, but they are two very separate sort of like little areas. Then people have just like laid some flowers at the end as well. And then I've put like, um, you can see there's one here, like a little cat one. And there's a little one hidden just in there a little bit as well. Like here, I'm pointing I'm point at the screen, you're not gonna be able to see that, are you? A little doggy here, because I figured the kids would put like more kiddish ones down. So we've got our beautiful graves outside. And this seems to me to be like a really nice area just to go and like remember and reminisce about everything. And then everybody should be coming around now. Yeah, everyone's coming around. A lot of people have changed out their funeral clothes. To be fair to Lilith, she kind of always looks like she's going to a funeral. But hopefully everybody's like in the new garden. I mean, little Faithy Bear is the first one out here just to kind of... She seems like she's in... She likes it, look. She's standing there like... This is like a really nice area to be in. And it is, it's lovely. Like if I actually get a memorial place like this in real life, I will be so happy. And I love all the plants. Oh, everybody's come out. Hello, everyone. What do you think of the beautiful garden? I mean, people are sad, but I do genuinely think that they like this garden a lot. They're impressed. They're impressed. They're like looking around and like, I don't know who's put this down, but I really like it and it's nice. And they're still sad. They're still sad. They're still going to be sad. But I think that they definitely like the garden. Hopefully you guys think that it's like a nice, a nice beautiful way to remember little um, Sim Ali and Sim Claire. I certainly think it is, you guys. I think it's a really nice way to remember them. And if I actually get a card as nice as this in real life when I die, I will be very, very happy. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the funeral. I'm sorry we didn't get gold, but it kind of bugged out a little bit. And I, to be honest, it was more I just wanted to get everybody in the family there together to sort of see Ali and Claire off, I guess, in a way. And I do definitely think our little, uh, our little memorial garden is a really nice way to m remember Ali and Claire. I kind of want it to get towards um, nighttime so I can see how it looks at night. It's 6 p.m. So it's definitely going to be getting pretty dark pretty soon. And as I said, I've got like a, I've got like a collection of clips of 
everything from when we very first started the series to where we are right now and to the events of the last episode that I'm gonna play now for you guys so that you can kind of see how we got to where we did, how Ali and Claire first began and how they ended up in the dream house. And bless him, little Marcus is out there in the garden on his own, but it's getting towards nighttime and here is how the memorial garden looks. I think it looks really, really cool. Let me know what you guys think if you think we should add any more stuff in there. Let me know. Um, oh my gosh, look at it. Oh guys, it looks lovely. It looks really, really nice. I like that a lot. I think it looks good. I think it looks really good. And I think it's a really nice way to remember little Ali and Claire. So, uh, guys, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And please stick around to watch this beautiful little montage of Ali and Claire. And let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in another episode. Enjoy what's coming next. Bye. So, Claire is done. So, that is the family complete. Here is Ali and Claire's dream house. It's here, like, at the top of the neighborhood. It cost 280,000 simolones. And we are currently all the way over here in this little teeny tiny house. You'll probably notice we both have the most garbage computers. They are the only ones that we could actually afford. He could check if she's single. Maybe he could just compliment her appearance. That's quite, that's quite nice little, little gestures, isn't it? Imagine if I die on the first day. Extinguish her! <gasps> guys, check this out. This is pretty steamy. <gasps> okay, he's going for the rose, guys. He's going for the rose. <gasps> they had their first kiss. It didn't turn horribly wrong. Would like to come over, Jennifer. Jennifer. Jennifer's making big moves on Ali, guys. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, Ali's never done that to me. Never quite done that to me. But guys, I'm kind of thinking while we're here, like how often is this festival in town? They should probably do it. They should probably tie the knot. <laughs> she said yes! Ah, they did it! <gasps> They're exchanging their vows. Guys, this wasn't quite the romantic wedding I was looking for. But still, look at the beautiful setting. And they've done their first ever little woo-woo on the day of their wedding as well. Oh, what? <gasps> Guys, I've discovered a blade. <gasps> oh my gosh, look where we are. Oh, I want to do it, but it's too soon. Or maybe next episode, okay? Guys, should we do it? They've got 21,000 pounds now. We're doing quite well, and it doesn't necessarily mean... That just because we tried for a baby that is going to happen quickly. How's it working on first time? Oh, Claire is expecting there's going to be a new addition to the household. Okay, I did not expect her to get pregnant on the first go. No way is she that pregnant already. Look at her stomach. Claire's going to labor. Oh my gosh, she's going to labor. What do we have to do? Look at Ali just like, oh my gosh, he is freaking out hard. What is this machine? Oh my gosh, laser beams. This is an Elon Musk birth. It's a boy! Clever if just gave birth to a boy! I guess you're right. Yeah! Okay, so we have to call him James! Ali asked for James to be his name. So here's little baby James. Oh, he's so cute. So the day begins with James crying his eyes out. This is their life now, guys. They have to get up at half seven. I actually think that's quite good for, for a baby crying in the morning, actually. James, hey, jump! <gasps> oh, there he is! Oh, he's blonde! He's blonde! Baby James is blonde! Oh my god, what's wrong with his face? What's wrong with his face? Don't throw it on the floor. I believe in you. You can do this. No. No! Guys, every time! Look at all the little bubbles on his little demon head. This. I'm scared about this. But here he is. He's gonna blow out his candles. That's how we do it. Yeah. Five years old. He's like a little toddler okay. becoming an adult. Gave him <gasps> James aged up. There is our little. Oh my gosh, he, he has hot pants so, on. Like European. Like He's got. Swedish. Yeah, he does. It's his nose. Okay, let's just pause time a sec. He still looks like an evil kid, though. I kind of think James needs to meet some friends. Look at all these kids coming around. So look, old James and his little friends are playing on the spaceship, and Claire for some reason, being the like embarrassing parent. Oh, he's been promoted. <gasps> He's maxed it out! He's completed the te he's completed his entire career path! Can actually do it? We have like 246,000 simoleons. How much is that, by the way? Like, it still says we can't get it, but if we sell all our furniture... <gasps> Guys, we can do it! We can make it to Dreamhouse! <gasps> Don't 
We've made it! Watch the sunrise from James's bedroom. I think James has one of the coolest rooms. This is what he sees on a morning. This is what he wakes up to. I didn't actually realize that the location was pure goals. Look, they can even go fishing down here if they want to. This is our life now. We chat with butlers. It's all very dignified and wonderful. Look how posh they all look. Super posh, going out for a meal cool. together. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make them try for a baby, but I'm not gonna take the pregnancy test. I'm just gonna leave it up to the sim gods to see what happens. Oh, guys, it's happened! Eating for two! Congratulations, Claire is expecting. There's going to be a new addition to this household. <gasps> oh my gosh, look, 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 look. She's got her first little baby bump. There we go. Oh, there we go, guys. James is feeling her little pregnant tum tum. Oh, guys, look how pregnant she is. She's super, super pregnant now. <gasps> Ali's doing a little touch of me. <sighs> oh, how amazing is that? I just realized she never shared the big news with Ali. <laughs> She never actually told him that she was pregnant. So that's kind of an interesting one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ali is not going to be here for the birth of his child at this rate. He has been so freaking weird. Oh, it's a baby girl! Yes! Oh my gosh, it's a baby girl! Yes, we're going to call her Jessica. Jessie for short. And she's going to be a calorie Aiken. I don't know why I'm putting Aiken on there since Ali couldn't even be bothered to be there for the birth. Oh, look. James is meeting her. They definitely like each other. Little baby Jessica. Can we just talk about how Ali's getting really buff? Look at his arms. Look at his arms. There we go, guys. The, the Oh, yes. Look. Look at her looking at him. I think she is cute, guys. I think I was a little bit mean to her. I mean, maybe it does a kind of a creepy face. He's in her little tiger onesie. Look how cute it is. Oh no, he is reading her to sleep. Oh yay. I don't know if it's because the house is so big, but she's gonna starve to death and die. Oh, what the hell? Finally, Claire's been a good parent. She's reading her a little book called Like You for the Time Being. I mean, the child's like, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Everyone's gonna think Ali is such a cool guy for buying him all these like lit little drinks. Literally lit, because they're on fire, guys. You get it? Uh, Claire and Ali are doing a little bit of kissing. And now look at this, she's all uh, in the flirty motion oh. and we can get her 50 just from woohooing. So I think they should do a quick little woohoo and then maybe tomorrow they can go on a date. There we go. Clara has completed the soulmate aspiration. <gasps> they are ready for the twins. Okay, guys, go and make some twins right now. Claire's looking pretty pregnant. Look at that pregnancy belly popping off there. We ready, we ready? James, it's gonna happen. <gasps> oh, scary eyes for blowing out that candle. <gasps> James aged up. I don't know which one he's gonna prefer at the end of the date though, but check these. Which one would you go for, guys? Which one do you think he should go for? <gasps> She's giving birth, guys. She gave birth to a baby girl. Is that it? There's only one. No! Please be another one too. <gasps> yes! Yes! Yes, guys, we did it! Twins! We finally did it! Ah, okay, Emma and... What about Emma and Emily? Look at James. As if he wasn't handsome enough already. There he is holding a baby. Holding a baby, guys. No rest for the wicked. Ali, it's your turn this time. It's really hard. Because <laughs> when one starts, the next one starts. And it's just like this non-stop, like, baby crying mess of mess. Claire's home. Yes, okay. Ba baby time, Claire. Baby time. And Ali is playing dolls with little Jessica. Yay! Look at her blowing out the candles. How cute is that? And now she's going down. Yay! Jess aged up. Little Jess out in the flesh, needing a wee wee, but looking very cute in her little pajamas. Look at the mo. But look at Claire. She's got like the big part because she is the elder. She is. She is the elder. And then Jess is looking up to her like, I have two small plants, but one day I will have one big one like you. It is time. It is time to age up the babies, guys. <gasps> I can't stop looking at her pretty eyes. And then this is Emma. So Emma's a little bit more of a tomboy. So she's, she's, she's so cute, isn't she? <gasps> Here they both are in their own individual little high chairs. Ali, you can give her some food as well. She's like, yay, I will do whatever you say, mommy, because I'm so freaking cute. Come on, do some little potty trains. They still look very, very cute playing together. 
Oh my gosh, I love them so much. Look at them in their matching pajamas, which actually means we've still not washed them. <gasps> They're both having their first ever. Ah! He did it! They had their first ever kiss, guys! Ali's being the big bad parent. Oh, look how angry he looks. No, James is just too flirty to care. He's like, look at this! Look at his face. All the guys are on the side now, all showing off their physiques. I mean, Ali's looking pretty good. I'm happy about that. He's definitely showing everybody up. Okay, so look at this. Beautiful painting of those two outside. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one in here like this. There we go. So look at this. A cute little picture of Jess next to her medieval castle. Here she goes. Okay. Making a wish and blowing out those candles. <gasps> she's so pretty. Like, she's literally so, so pretty. Claire is in there teaching the babies some last little, uh, last little traits to make sure that they are well-rounded adults. She blew them out. Yay! Yes, Emma aged up. There we go, Emily aged up as well. So hopefully you guys like the twins and what I've done with them. Please let me know in the comments below. Oh my gosh! There is legit a monster under the bed. She's not even lying. What? Dad, spray the top one too. There we go. Look at this. A little portrait of James. Guys, Claire finished the, the, the painting of James and James finished his angry painting. This is James's angry painting. You can tell he's never had much interest in art. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The butler is back. He's got an evil outfit on. I think it's time for little James to blow out his candles. Here we go. Adult time. Manage households. Transfer sims between households. I like, I feel scared. James has moved out. Come on, Ali. Don't fall on your butt. You can do this. You've got this. He's doing great. Look at them. Oh, being all in lovey dovey with each other. Oh, how cute is that? She like ran up outside to go check up on Ali. Ali, who's been listening to his music all day. Little group members are there. So we've got Mad Max. I say that because he always looks kind of mad. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! She just she just blew a kiss at Roxy. Oh my gosh! I only just caught the end of that. There you go. There we go. She's beautiful. Like, she is ridiculously beautiful. And then she's got kind of like a bit more of a tomboyish sort of rocker outfit on. Ali wants to try for a baby with Claire. Ali, four kids. Oh, look who's, look who's come to check out on the double date. Ali is like, I need to make sure my girls are safe. And he came and spied on the double date. Ali, you can go and do a little introduction to your grandchild. Look, look how bonny she is. Claire and Ali's face is obviously to be like, What has happened? Yay! What should we call it? Let's call it the similar nose. Oh, there we go. There's been Taylor's. There's been Roxy's. There's been Max's. But there has never been anyone quite like Ali and Claire. <gasps> Guys! She is actually pregnant. She is actually pregnant. Wow. The seed is strong with Max. What is that noise? What is that? What on earth is that noise? Oh my god. What the hell? Claire and Ali are just woo wooing in there. And Emily's going to bed. Oh no. Emily, get out, get out, get out, get out. Look at him go. How tough would that be? Go on, Ali. You got this. Look at him throwing himself around. Claire, enjoy your youth while you can. It's going to be taken away from you soon. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Grandma. Grandma Claire. And make sure that she's feeling very loved. She doesn't quite get the love at home that she should do. It is finally time. Renew vows with Claire Siobhan. Guys, what's happening? Renewing their vows together. Let's do it this way so we can see everyone. <laughs> Guys, can you watch? Attention over here. Yeah. Attention what? over here. Uh, I know they're no. watching because everybody got a little plus heart. Yeah. Yes, but here they are. They had their Happiness. wedding at the oh, romance festival. This, they've been together ever since. They've always had the best relationship. Oh. 
Lemon and the whole <laughs> of Lemon the Lemon huh? huh? They've always kissed and cuddled and loved each other, <laughs> no matter what. Oh, he's blown out his cuddles. Claire is an elder now as well. Did you see her dress go? Then Casper the friendly ghost. Three, two, one. But there we go, you guys. They're all old. Why don't you volunteer at a nursing home? And Emma can be like, you guys are mean to me. This is where you're going to go. Look at this person. Chat with this lady. Chat with that gentleman. If you're not careful, you will be sitting next to them. And Lilith's at home with just grandma and granddad, which is nice. Out the way, lovely. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at the little fireworks at the side and everything. Let's get a little view from this angle. Oh my gosh! Oh, these two little cutie pies are hanging out together. Every day is grandparent da day for little Lilla, for little Ollie. Oh, bless him. Just doing a little sleeping for himself with the frogs. Oh my gosh. These cuties are just hanging out in the bar, you know, because they're like old. Oh my gosh. Remember the butler's room? We have a room there that we can do something with, potentially. And also, they did woo woo and they didn't die, so success. Guys, guys. Take, take her all in. Take her all in. a bit closer. Take, take her all in. Because at any one time, she could be ripped from us. And then we will never see her again. So, you know, enjoy those wrinkles while you can. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, hello, Ali as well. Oh, hello. Guys, take him all in. Take, take, take him in, take him in. Literally, I'm basing my hopeful future life on my sims. Because they're so awesome. Oh, oh, what's going on? They're really happy about something. <gasps> they're off to go woo woo. Please, just remember your OAPs. This is actually a dangerous activity for you guys. You were the most stressful baby we've ever had. But I'm really, really glad you're now here and you're all good. Oh, these three little cutie pies are all in here hanging out together. It's only nine yeah, in the morning and it's a Sunday, which is the perfect There's day to be aging up a toddler, really. <laughs> Faith has aged up. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can we just talk about how gorgeous she is? But luckily, Grandma is there to cheer up this little cutie pie. So this is still one of the really good reasons why living with Ali and Claire is good. Because it means that you have grandparents there to look after you. So why don't you go and see little Grandpa? 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 So Grandpa is going to teach her to talk today. But 5am and Claire cooks everybody burgers outside on the barbecue. I don't know why it's that kind of day, but that, apparently that's what we do on Wednesdays in the dream house. Every time I go to the house, it doesn't matter who is here. He still has the same tight little Calvins that he had on, on when he was an adult. I mean, apparently I'm loving it, you guys. So we've got, that's the tofu chicken. And then we've also got Ali cooking the actual chicken. I love that one of the things about the uh, group gathering is they have to be nice to each other. Because it means that everybody's been super cute. The thing is, they've lived not only a really long life, but a really successful life. They've been so in love with each other, it's like the whole time they've been together. There's never been any non since in their relationship. When I was trying with my mum about this episode, I was like, imagine if Ali or Claire died on the Christmas episode. Like that cannot happen. These guys need to have like a really nice Christmas with all of their kids. And also, I didn't realize this. I completely didn't realize this. Claire and Ali are actually like a great grandparents now. Oh, so this is cute. Ali is teaching uh, this little cutie pie some of her first words. How cute is that? There you go, you guys. You didn't want uh, Claire and Ali and Noelle not to have a relationship together. Look at them both. How cute is that? That was some steamy, steamy woo-woos in the steam room with these two. Still super in love. Everyone just came today. I don't know why, but it's making me... <laughs> It's really making me feel emotional that they all just came around for like no reason I really know of other than I think they know their parents are getting quite close to the end. Oh, they're so cute. They are so cute. But look at this, guys. They've still got it. They've definitely still got it. Oh, look at them both still. I don't know if we should have the party tonight, just in case. <laughs> I'm legit getting really emotional. I don't know what's wrong with me. She's so happy just to be like around her family. Oh, these guys are still at it. 
still at it after all this time. Oh, they've still got it. You guys. I don't know why she's in a super formal dress and he's in his little Calvin Klein's. But they've still got the cuteness that they always had. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, Ali went first. Guys, it's happened. Oh my god! It happened. Ali Aiken has lived a long life, but his time has finally come. They don't seem sad, you guys. They don't seem sad. In fact, they kind of seem like they're ready to go. They're like part in the floor. They were ready. They were ready to go. 